Eschbach. I'm the CEO of Measure One. Uh, we uh, are bringing and unlocking basically academic data as represented in the transcript into um, to help students and the people who serve them uh, get more value from the data embedded in their transcript. Let's see. Way, guys. Okay, uh, this is my, my lovely daughter, Emma. You can see her on the right, she's at an MIT um, uh, agricultural lab and graduating on the right, or on the left. And she's, um, she's typical, not really typical, because she went to an elite school and we'll talk about that. But she has a problem. If I can get this guy to work. Here we go. All right, one more time. Sorry, folks. Whoops. Let's go back one more. Gosh, I'm going to learn how to use this. You'll, you won't really want to work with a tech company that can't get the, the uh, thing to move. Folks, any, uh, any hint where I should be pointing it? Thank you. Oh yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay, got it. Thank you guys. You got the whole deck now. All right. Uh, when she was, uh, when she got out of school, she got a really great job at, at, um, at Fitbit. She had to come to mom and dad for uh, a credit card, an auto loan, uh, and also uh, to be able to get uh, a lease on an apartment. Now she's not typical, but if you think about this and you multiply that to students who are from less advantaged backgrounds who went to non-elite schools, and you're wondering, okay, um, she's got a trans, she's actually got a track record, and it's buried in her transcript. How many of you have tried to read a transcript and make sense of it? I don't think anybody can. I mean, they're inscrutable. Whoops. Okay. So we, what we do is we basically take the incredible value of the data in a transcript and we mine it. And we do a couple different things. We, we mine it for lenders, for uh, where we have our first um, kind of use cases. Uh, we're starting to mine it for schools and employers. And essentially, uh, you can strip data out of a transcript and uh, make it incredibly valuable for anybody, anybody that wants to work with students or the students themselves. Okay, if you see up in the left-hand corner, there's a company called Ascent. Ascent is a student loan lender. We talk a lot about student loan debt issues. We talk about student loan refinance issues. Uh, lenders, thanks to the kind of platform we built, which automatically can strip data out of a transcript and analyze it, repackage it, are starting to use this to make loans to, to students who do not have a solid cosigner or who get out of school and don't have that financial track record. So it's, it's exciting. It's a very new, interesting idea, and we're getting traction. We have academic institutions we partnered with to build a multi-school database where we have taken all of the SIS data and linked it to economic outcomes. That means uh, their student loan data, uh, credit card data through connecting that data on an anonymized basis to the credit bureaus. Uh, it's powerful. It's really interesting and it can, the use cases are really almost incalculable. Uh, so it's a large market. Um, we're still figuring out how to size a lot of it, but these are the millions of people who potentially are eligible to take their transcript data and get it deployed in decisions by lenders, employers, and schools. Uh, we have been working at this. Uh, I come out of financial services. I built a pretty successful mortgage data company I had a non-compete, and I thought the student loan market would be an interesting place. At that point, it was a trillion dollars. 
in, um, in debt, and now it's uh, obviously it's 1.4 trillion. We started there. One of our clients wanted to be able to access academic data for, for making loans, and we started there, and now we're starting to get in to the, um, uh, to the uh, university and uh, school space. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a proprietary system that basically will read a transcript from 1,000 schools in real time. We can access all 7,000 Title IV schools, and, and students can upload their data. The first time we get an upload, we, we create the code that allows it to be read automatically. Um, how we make money? Largely tr per transaction fees or annual software licenses. Uh, we are doing a Series A. Our existing investor base, which you'll see in a minute, has committed two and a half to the seven and a half that we're looking to raise. Uh, we'll use this largely to expand the, the sales part of our business and also uh, start being able to ingest high school transcripts. And we're thinking and talking about global markets. This is a global company. This is a big opportunity. Uh, I don't want to say I've done it before, but I can smell a winner. Um, so about, about the people behind the business, uh, I think I'm most proud of the fact that Larry Rosenberger, who was the, uh, who's the retired CEO of Fair Isaacs, is an investor and advisor. Bobby Mehta, who is the CEO of TransUnion, uh, also an advisor. And then uh, we have some awfully smart investors. My team is awesome. We're still learning the ed space. We, we love it. And we are looking forward to making a difference for people who cannot get credit, cannot get employment quickly, cannot get a house quickly. I'm Dan Feshbach. I'm the CEO of Measure One. We'd love to talk to you.